everyone. I'm Lori Whitlock. Welcome to the YouTube channel today. I've got something really fun to share with you today. I've got a brand new sawgrass printer here and a mug press. So I haven't even used the printer yet. I haven't installed the ink. We're going to do that here together. Um, I'm going to show you how to go into the Creative Studio by Sawgrass and set up a project. We're going to print it together and we're going to press it onto this really cute glitter tumbler today. So follow along with me. I'm super excited to show this off. Um, a little bit nervous because I haven't made anything with it yet, but um, a lot of you have been following me with Silhouette and Cricut projects. And I just got super excited about sublimation printing and uh, perhaps you're interested in that as well. So we're gonna kind of explore this new machine and new ideas together. So first thing I'm gonna do is take off all the tape on this new printer and get it ready to install the ink. So I'm just gonna pull all this off real quick. I'll be back in just a minute. Okay, so now I've taken all the tape off. Um, there were a couple pieces in here. I had to pull out a little piece of foam. I've gone ahead and plugged in my USB cord here and my power cord here on the side and mm -hmm. turned it on. So for those of you who don't know what sublimation is, it's actually a printer that prints on special sublimation paper. It's not just regular paper. This is sublimation paper and it uses sublimation inks. So once you print out something, you can heat press it onto uh, different blanks and mediums that have a polyester content. And typically they're sold as sublimation blanks. So I have purchased some sublimation tumblers that are 20 ounces and we're gonna heat press on that today, but there are lots of different things you can buy uh, to sublimate on. You can use, do drink coasters, you can do mouse pads, you can do traditional mugs with a handle on them. Um, there's all sorts of keychains and different um, little trinkets that you can sublimate onto as well. So next thing we're gonna do is go ahead and install our ink. So I'm just super excited about all the different applications for sublimation and Sawgrass has the best sublimation printer out there from what I have heard. So um, we have this Caesar Easy Subly inks by Sawgrass and we're just going to open these boxes up and install each of these cartridges. Looks like they're inside a bag. There's four colors, cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. I'm just gonna set those aside. Before I mess up my paper here, I think I'm gonna go ahead and install that too. And what, from what I understand, you install it with the right side down. And I know on this video, you're not gonna be able to tell the difference, but the one side's kind of a creamy color, the other side's very bright white. So I'm gonna open up this tray and, open up the paper holder and just slide that paper in what appears to be upside down. So you wanna make sure that this green guard is touching the back of the paper here. So let's go ahead and shut that. We've got some paper installed and now we're gonna put our ink in. That goes here on this side and it tells you right down here at the bottom, black, then the cyan, magenta, and yellow. So I'm gonna open these up. Got a pair of scissors here. Looks like it's pretty straightforward. I don't see anything that I need to remove. So I'm just gonna go ahead and slide the black into the black space. Okay, that's pretty easy. I'll just go on to open the rest of these up real quick. Okay. Here's the cyan, you can see here on the end, it shows a C for cyan, and you can match up the color down here to the bottom little guide. You wanna make sure you get all those colors in the right place or else our print won't look right. Here's the yellow that goes over here on the far end, and our magenta. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and close that up. Hopefully I did that right. Get rid of all of this. And it looks like I need to wait. And from what I understand, it's about seven minutes. So I'm gonna pause our video. We'll wait seven minutes while the machine is, yeah, it says loading ink for the first time. Wait and do not touch the machine for seven minutes. 
So while that's happening, I'll tell you a little bit about this mug press. This is a mug press from Heat Press Nation, and I'm going to link both of these um, in this video to Heat Press Nation, where you can purchase these machines if you're interested. Um, once you see the product, I think you'll be really interested in sublimation because it's way cool. It doesn't just, you know, when you, this is a really bad example, but vinyl sits on top um, of your medium. So like this mug, this cute little gnome is sitting on top, it's vinyl sticker. And sublimation is actually going to sink into the surface. So this mug is gonna remain as smooth it is, as it is right now when we're done. So I'm super, super excited to see that. It just, somehow the ink um, binds with the polyester um, that's in the coating of that um, blank. And so it just changes the color of the surface. So I'm really excited about that. I'm gonna pause this video, we'll be back in a minute. In the meantime, I'm gonna turn on this mug press. Um, the mug press does have, the one that I purchased has two sizes of mug press pieces. This is for a smaller mug. And you just, there's two little screws here right at the top of the machine on each side. And you just slide the different sizes um, in there. And then you plug it in right here and just turn it on. And we're going to be heating it up to 365. We're gonna be pressing for 70 seconds. So once we're able to print, um, we'll use the mug press to press it on our, on our mug. Um, oh, I guess I really don't need to pause the video because what we can do is go over to the Creative Studio uh, that Sawgrass has and we can set up our project. I forgot when you do that part. So I'm gonna share my screen with you. And um, hopefully you can see everything on my screen here. Um, this is called Sawgrass Creative Studio. Um, when you first go into it, you'll need to sign in and then you start a new project. And then you can just, there's all sorts of templates in here that are blank. So I just went to the drinkware and we're gonna pick out, I think it's just look down here at the bottom. You can see there's page, uh, different pages. So I'm gonna hit next and just keep looking until I find a 20 ounce mug. And I see one right here, Luma Steel 20 ounce skinny, skinny tumbler. And so this is where the artwork's gonna go. And that's the tumbler. Um, I have installed in the gallery and they're my images. Um, you can upload a JPEG. So I just hit upload JPEG and then I uploaded a pattern in here. And I'm gonna show that to you now. We're just gonna place that onto um, our project. Okay, so you can see it brought in this really pretty floral pattern. I thought that would be super pretty on the mug. Um, I shouldn't say mug, on this tumbler. So I'm just gonna scale that up just a little bit so that they're not teeny tiny flowers. And I think this is gonna be so pretty with the little glitter showing through. So, from what I can tell, that's really all I need to do. Um, we just need to print it out as soon as our printer is ready. So I've got three more minutes on the printer. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just stop this and I'll be back in just a couple minutes. Okay, so our sawgrass machine is all done loading the ink for the first time and we're ready to go ahead and print. So I'm gonna go over to my software and we've got everything set up. I, I hope that this is the right template. I'm guessing that it is. Um, let's go ahead and print it out and give it a try. Hopefully this isn't a big fail on, on video. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and press print. Um, my sawgrass is there. We're gonna load from tray one. It is a letter size page and you do want to mirror it from what I understand. Not that it'll matter with this print, but if you had a word or a name or something like that, that would be pretty important. Um, the product is, we're gonna put it on metal. So make sure you choose the right um, substrate here. It's like polyester, ceramic mug, tile, mouse pad, glitter, HTV. Uh, stainless steel tumbler. There we go. I'm going to do stainless steel tumbler. 
because even though it's metal, this is more specific. So let's go with that. And the paper, True Picks Classic, I believe that's correct. So we're gonna do high quality, quality um, color mode. We'll just go with photographic, I guess. I don't, I don't know exactly what some of these are gonna do. This is gonna take a little bit of a learning curve for me, I assume, as I try it. Um, let's go ahead and hit print. It looks like it's loading it to the printer right now. We're just gonna have to be patient for a minute. Okay, the print has been successfully queued. Let's hit okay. Um, my printer's not starting anything yet, so. Okay, so there wasn't really anything wrong. It just took a minute for this to queue. I'm gonna share my screen with you. Um, eventually, this Sawgrass Print Manager popped up on my screen. Um, it's verifying my settings, my substrate, and how I want to print it. And I just need to send it from here. It looks like this is a place to queue lots of different prints at once. So um, probably really handy in a, a setting where you're outputting a lot of different projects. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit print on that. And let's see if the printer responds. So let me take a look real quick. Printer is still sitting here, but look, this little light started flashing. So I think we're in luck. Oh boy, I'm on this cart that's kind of moving. <laughs> so I'm gonna hold that. It's actually printing out pretty fast, so that's good. I probably won't leave the printer on this cart permanently. I'm just putting it on here for the video today. To me, it looks like the print is just a little bit light. So I'm kind of wondering if I should have printed it on the vivid settings instead of the photographic settings. Let me just show you how that looks. Now you saw the art on my screen. So let me share my screen with you again. Um, share and let's go back over to Sawgrass. So see how bright and um, Right, that is. I actually don't feel like this is going to look very good pressed onto my mug. So I'm going to send this to print again. So at this point, let's go ahead and print out our artwork. So I'm going to hit print. And then I'm going to set up my um, settings for this. We're going to do our sawgrass tray one. And I want to put. Um, I'm gonna put this on a stainless steel tumbler and we're using the True Picks Classic. And I don't want this to print photographic. I want this to print vivid. And let's go ahead and send that to print. And now our print has been successfully queued. So at this point, I think we just need to wait for it to show up on our desktop here. Okay, so I'm gonna share my screen with you again. Um, this print manager popped up eventually. It takes just a minute. Uh, made me nervous there for a minute, um, but we're gonna go ahead and print this out. And just verifying those settings. Let's see. We'll watch our uh, sawgrass back here. It's not doing anything quite yet, but I have faith it's gonna start printing here in a minute when it's ready. And here we go, data in, that little light splashing, and our print is starting. Okay, we'll just let that print for a minute. I just see, if you guys um, look in here at all the different blank products that are available, there's all sorts of cool things you can put uh, sublimation prints on. You can even do um, different cell phone cases. You just have to order the blanks. There's clothing, there's ties, uh, hats, shirts. There's even a little 3D preview up here in the corner that would be cool to be able to render things and take a look at them before you actually make them. Looks like our print is all done. So I am going to stop sharing real quick. And we are going to get our print ready to put on our mug. 
Okay, our heat press is hot and ready to go and I'm not quite ready for it yet. So I'm gonna turn it off for just a minute. Knowing that it's pretty warm, it will go pretty fast. I'm gonna take our mug or, or our, our tumbler and we have our print right here. You can see how it printed out. It's a little lighter than I was hoping. We'll see how it looks when it heat presses on um, to our medium. So I'm just looking at the width of it here. It looks like it's perfect on the width. And from what I understand, we need to trim off one side right to the line. So let's grab this paper cutter real quick. I'm just going to trim off one side right to the line. Make sure it's nice and straight. Actually, I feel like my paper is ever so slightly crooked. So I'm going to have to correct this, this cut just a little bit. I want to make sure we have plenty of printout. Okay, so I just trimmed that off so that the design goes right to the edge of the paper there. Hopefully those little fuzzies don't matter. Pull those off the best I can. And um, I feel like this, like I said, printed slightly crooked. So I'm just gonna trim off the paper straight. Just so it helps me line it up a little bit better. Okay, hopefully that wasn't a mistake, we'll see. So I've got my tumbler, I've got my cut edge. And I'm just going to wrap it around here. And I do have white on the one edge here. So I don't want that showing up on my tumbler. The other one is pretty much print all the way to the edge. So looks like I've got a little overbleed. So that's great. I'm just going to wrap it around. I want the, the cut edge right up next to my tumbler. We're going to wrap it around and it overlaps. So that design is overlapping. It's so hard to see this overlapping a little. So it's going to overlap where it overlaps and that's fine. And I can see a little extra design at the top and the bottom. So that's good. I'm just going to kind of use my hands to just make sure that's nice and tight. Hopefully it's nice and straight. This is my learning one. So just bear with me. I'm going to grab a piece of this tape, heat tape. This is special tape. You do need special tape. And I'll put a link to this in the file as well here in the video. Okay, I'm going to cut that off. So I've basically put it on. Now I'm going to seal up all those edges so we don't have any problems. At least that's the way I've seen everybody else do it. So I assume that's what you need to do. You don't want any wrinkles in your tape. Okay. I'm just going to push this around that edge. I think I'll tape that all down too. That way the design can kind of, oops, I can't tear that. What am I trying to do? I'm just gonna cut a few small pieces, see how this goes. That way the design can kind of wrap around the edge there. Okay, you guys are troopers hanging out with me to my very first project. I've been intimidated to use this, so I just decided, hey, I'm not going to let this machine intimidate me. We're just going to try it and see what happens. So I'm just going to kind of wrap that with my fingers. I don't think I need to tape it all inside of there. We'll see. Maybe I do. Okay. That's what it looks like all wrapped up and ready to go into the heat press. I'm going to flip that heat press back on. Probably should have done that a second ago. Make sure when you're doing this or prepping your um, tumbler that you take off the plastic lid because that would be terrible to put into the heat press. 
There's also a metal straw that came with it. So I'm leaving all that off, taking out any paper that's inside. You don't want anything in there. Um, this is really hot. It's gonna be 365 degrees actually. And I've got some little hot pad thingies. I hope that these are sufficient. They came out of my kitchen. So I've seen people use gloves, heat gloves. So just be super careful not to get burned on the mug press. So this little printer is gonna be super handy. I'm excited. Um, I'm kind of embarrassed to show this, but check out my mouse pad. I think I need a new mouse pad. I'm gonna to have to make a really pretty one. What do you guys think? Wouldn't that be fun? And hopefully I enjoy my new mug. I think it'd be really fun to customize these with names and, you know, pictures. Wouldn't that be awesome? Okay, our temperature just got up to 365. So I've adjusted the heat press to fit the mug pretty snugly. And it's really hot in there. So I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just going to slide this in there. Okay, it's in. I'm just going to clamp it down. Okay, it's gonna go for 70 seconds. So we're gonna be patient. And if you noticed, it doesn't close all the way at the top. I don't know if you can see that or not. I have no way of really showing that to you, but there's a little gap. So after the 70 seconds is over, we're gonna rotate it where the gap is down in the bottom and then press again. I'm so excited to see what this looks like. This is gonna be fun. I'm hoping that that pink and the blue come out a little more vivid than they look on the print because I was surprised that it looked a little lighter than I was thinking it would look. So we'll see. We'll see. So make sure when you go to take this out that you have something to protect your hands because it's going to be so, so hot and it's metal. So it's not going to, not going to um, be very forgiving. I also, I didn't want to melt my desktop because this is plastic like a plastic um, coating. I have some other desktops that are glass, but this one's plastic, so I don't want to melt it. So I'm gonna set a piece of cardboard here. Okay, it's telling me that that's done. Okay, so it's kind of smoking and I need to rotate this, so bear with me. Okay, and I'm gonna close it up again. Seventy seconds till we get to see what we made. So excited! Leave me comments. Do you guys have a sawgrass? Do you have a mug press? If you have a sawgrass, what do you love making with it? I need lots of ideas. So I'm thinking because my forte is design. I'm thinking that I will be creating some fun sublimation designs for all of you. Does that sound interesting to you? And if so, leave me a comment down below. Um, I love 3D paper crafting, as you can see. I've been designing paper for um, several years and I think it would be perfect. Oh, and fabric. I've been designing fabric and paper for several years. So it'd be really fun to take those skills and apply them to these types of sublimation projects. So if you are interested, in getting into sublimation, I would love to hear about it and we can take this journey together. Okay, we have two seconds and we're ready. Okay, so I'm gonna turn this off. I'm going to grab this tumbler and it's very, very hot. So we're just gonna set it here and I'm going to let it cool for just a minute before I peel it. So I'm gonna stop this and I'll be back in just a minute or two. Okay, so here I'm back. I've let my um, tumbler cool down for a couple minutes. It's still warm, but I'm so excited. I can't wait to peel it. So I'm just gonna grab that heat tape and pull it off. You guys, this is the most exciting part. I cannot wait. Ah. Need a little something to pull on that tape with. There we go. Okay. And this is our moment of reveal. Ooh, this is so pretty. Look at that. Awesome. Wow. Okay. That's what we just made. And it did brighten up quite a bit, actually. 
um, the print was kind and it's glittery. Look how fun it's that glitter. So fun. Okay, so I'm going to take my little lid and my straw. And I've got a brand new summertime mug. So fun. Okay, you guys, I hope you've enjoyed this really fun um, adventure. Checking out the new Sawgrass printer and the cool Heat Press Nation mug press. And you can see how cool and easy and fast and fun it was to make this really cute 20 ounce tumbler. So I can see myself making lots of fun projects with this um, equipment. And I am super excited to start designing some fun patterns and templates for you guys to use with your sawgrass printer. So I hope you have a great day and I will see you all in another video. Bye-bye.